What's the difference between the smartwatch and a fitness tracker? A fitness tracker is designed to keep track of your health and exercise. A smartwatch keeps the track of your fitness too, but also keeps you connected by delivering notifications and updates on your wrist. There's a lot of overlap between the two. And what we have here today is a blend of a fitness tracker and a smartwatch, which won't break the bank. We're talking about Soundpeat Watch 1, which could be the best budget option currently available. Welcome back, it's Adam, Family Pop TV. Soundpeat might be known for their awesome True Air wireless earbuds, but it's nice to see them venturing into a different line of products, starting with the fitness wearables such as Review Today Watch One. With that being said, let's check it out and see everything the Watch One has to offer. The packaging for the Soundpeat Watch One is actually pretty decent with a slight type design. Opening the box, we are greeted with the Soundpeat Watch One itself and an accessory compartment on its side. Inside the box, we also have the user manual and the magnetic charging cable. In terms of the design and construction, the Soundpeat Watch One is actually pretty decent. The watch itself is made out of metal and glass, while the wrist strap is made of a silicon rubber. I'll show you how to replace the straps later in this video. The overall feel of the watch is quite good and doesn't feel cheap at all. In front we have the 1.4 inches 320 by 320 pixels color TFT display with 4 steps of brightness which can get substantially bright. It has an anti fingerprint and anti scratch coating which is unusual in this price range. There are 5 various watch faces to choose from. What it lacks however is the ability to customize the watch faces which to be honest is quite disappointing. But I can live with that. Flipping it all over at the bottom, we have here the PBG sensors and the charging pins. Flipping it on its side and we have here a physical back and home button. The Soundpeat Watch 1 has an IP68 waterproof rating, which means it has ingress protection against dust and it's waterproof up to ideally beyond 1 meter. We have performed a simple waterproof test for you because the question most of you ask in our previous videos, are these budget watches are really waterproof? Hmm, yes, you could safely swim with your watch one, albeit swimming is not included on its trackers, but we'll go through the sports modes later in this video. To recap, an IP67 enclosure is rated to resist submersion, but only at depth of 1 meter and for only 30 minutes. Our watch one has an IP68 enclosure, which is rated to resist submersion of at least 1 meter and over 30 minutes. So answering your question, yes, you can safely swim with your watch one, albeit swimming is not included on its trackers, but we'll go through the sports modes later in this video. Setting up with the Soundpeat Sports app. At first, just scan the QR code as seen below and follow the instructions. Once setup is done and the app is successfully installed on your phone, it's time to launch the app. The app is actually quite intuitive and offers a ton of features when it comes to health stats, reports, alarms, reminders, push notifications and personalized options. This includes the profile data where you enter your gender, age, height and weight. These factors helping the watch to assess the length of your stride which then helps to achieve very accurate step count stats and the calories burned. So it's crucial to enter your personal details in your profile. The app is compatible with both iOS and Android. Let's get back to the watch itself. If you would swipe up from the main screen, you got the stats at the top and this shows you the daily step counts, distance traveled and burned calories. Next in the main menu is a BPM, which is nothing less than a heart rate monitor. It resembles the Amazfit graph, which is a good thing, I like the graphical representation of the heart rate range. The Watch 1's accuracy in monitoring the heart rate is pretty good. We have compared the heart rate readings from our Watch 1 with a medical pulse oximeter, which provides a super accurate heart rate measurement. As you can see, the Watch 1 performs very well. The heart rate is very accurate as for a non-medical device. 
Obviously, these readings should be used for reference only. However, these are surprisingly accurate in the watch one. The next item in the main menu is the sports tracking. And here we got jogging, fast walking, biking, climbing, spinning, yoga, indoor running, integrated training, gymnastics, basketball, football and rowing. You can easily keep track of all these exercises in real time directly on a watch and it helps you to understand your physical condition. Unfortunately, the watch hasn't got a GPS built in, but the companion app can use the GPS location directly from your phone. The next item in the menu, the weather. It pushes the weather info from your phone. To use this function, the watch has to be connected with your phone via Bluetooth. The next one is a sleep tracker, which can provide the analysis of your sleep, whether you are in deep sleep, light sleep or wake-up time. I have discovered in my struggle to provide the exact tracking for the sleep every time when I go to bed very late or when I'm sleeping during the day. Real-time message notification, it pushes the notification about incoming text messages and social apps messages as well as notifications about an incoming call. You can't pick up the incoming call, you could only drop it. It will work only when your watch is connected with your smartphone. The next item, music setting or the music app control. You can control your music app in your smartphone once the devices are connected. Here you can start and stop and skip to the next song or a previous song. Unfortunately, the player won't work while your watch one is tracking your exercises in a sports mode. The next item called more. Here are another four useful features, a stopwatch, a countdown, find phone and brief training. The brief training on watch one encourages you to set aside for a few minutes a day to relax and focus on your breathing. Simply open the brief training widget, tap start, inhale slowly as the animation grows, then exhale as it shrinks. Let's try it together. Inhale and exhale. You can adjust the duration of this breathe exercise to so either one or two minutes long. The last item in the menu we got here is settings, which are watch face changing, the brightness of the screen, the watch info, power off button and the factory reset button. Watch One has got a 260mAh lithium polymer battery which, as manufacturer states, allows you to use the watch for 10 days between the charging on normal use. The charging time is around 2 hours. From my experience, if you would turn off the constant heart rate measurements in a watch and the Bluetooth, the battery would last up to even a month time and that's pretty awesome. Watch One has the Amazon's Choice label which means this product have a low return rate and high ratings and it's more popular than the other items. The Watch One can be found on Amazon worldwide with a price around 30 British pounds, around 30 American dollars, Amazon Deutschland for 19 euros, Amazon Spain for about 35 euros, Amazon Italy for 45 euros, Amazon France for as much as 49 euros, or in Canada you can get it for around 50 Canadian dollars. I'll show you how to replace the straps. Pull this little pin here, it clicked, and take the strap away. Pull the pin, it clicked, and you're good to go. Pull the pin and take the strap away. It clicked and you're good to go. Very simple and straightforward. You could use any strap as long as they are 20 millimeters wide. In the summary, if you're looking for an inexpensive smartwatch and activity tracker, this fills the bill quite nicely and it's fashionable and has a fine design. You won't be disappointed with your purchase. The only downside in my opinion is lack of watch face customization. If you're thinking about buying this one, there's an Amazon link in the video description when you could find it for the fair price. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it pretty informative. 
please show us some love and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing to Family Pop TV in one of our future videos we will take a closer look into an awesome audio glasses from Soundbeats so stay tuned for this one